Say that motherfucker to the head. What it do, man? So welcome on the show. I am Philly Dre. What up, though? It's your girl, no bra, Breezy. We got my man right here. Go ahead and tell them who you are. I know they know who you are, but go ahead and tell them down. <laughs> yeah, already, cake ass, man. Really, man, on the ground, bitch ass, but you know who it is, man. Smack boy. Make sure you go to my motherfucking page and check out the hottest motherfucking content in the world, cake okay, ass, bitch. At least that's what the industry say. Uh, so, Mr. Smack or Mr. Water? Nah, it's just Smack Water. <laughs> Mr. Smack Water. Why Smack Water? Where did that come from? Nah, uh, damn, man. Hey, man. Everybody asks ask the same question every day. It was just some ghetto ass shit that came from the hood itself, man. My old man named Smack Water. We look just alike, so everybody say. He does a, a high yellow version, you know, so that's where it comes from. Ain't shit really special. It ain't no special. Well, he was a, he, cause he was a heroin addict, you know. I was a wet head, so it just fit perfect. Like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, have you always sure. been like this, or did I be like, just, just talk shit kind of type of guy? Yeah, that's just my family, my nigga. You ain't, oh if you was a soft head nigga, you ain't gonna make it in my family, right. my nigga. You go to the family reunion. Our family reunions always ended with somebody shooting at somebody. Like that. So that lets you know what the fuck is really good. That's right. Yeah, you know, talking about rest in peace ain't paid. Hold on, nigga, man. Yeah. yeah, damn, the family, you know, but mine's just like that too. That's every family, man. Ain't shit special about my family. It's just, if, if your family just real enough to be who the fuck they is, then, you know, our shit is, you know, if you're a weak ass motherfucker, man, you don't want to come around my people, man. But my ain't, my ain't Lynn had a lot. I remember my ex, the first time I ever took her around my family, and uh, it was a holiday, and my ain't Lynn had lost her arm. And uh, she had one arm, and she was in the kitchen holding up the line, fixing food. And my other ain't say, man, get your one arm ass up out the motherfucking way, crippled motherfucking my, my gal, she looked. Cause it was funny, we all laughed, but she was like, I don't know if I should laugh. I was like, man, ain't nobody tripping on that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? It is. She got one arm, nigga, what the fuck you want for somebody to say? Right. <laughs> so yeah. what made you start getting on niggas' ass on the internet? Oh, man. You know what? I, I really wouldn't even call it that, uh, Miss Lady. I just really just sharing, sharing my truth as, as far as I see it. And it's really, it all started, uh, Somebody had posted something online one day I seen about hip hop. And uh, I done a post and posted it. And after it was over, I was like, shit, I got some more shit to say. And I said that and then before you know it, I had been out on my pay on my porch like two, three hours recording shit and uploading shit. And that was really the start of it, you know what I'm saying? And it just evolved from that point forward. When is it okay to call somebody a cake ass nigga? Mm -hmm. When is it okay? It's always okay to call somebody a cake ass nigga, cake ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> you know, it ain't always, it's just whatever context you use it in. It's yeah. always alright to call a fucking bitch a fucking bitch. Yeah. Fucking bitch. That's real. That's real. That's real. You know what I'm saying? It's just it, what context you use it in, you know? So it started, it started, rest in peace, Walk Club, my best friend, man. That nigga that, uh, but one night we were shooting dice in the trap and uh I think I think it was uh solo birth of dice and Kent called him a cake ass nigga and the whole dice game just stopped and we all just looked at each other and from then on it was it was born for, and that was back in like 90, 96, 97. Yeah but that's and but you know and we was all we stayed all stayed together so it was all this all love you know what I'm saying not unless you really that cake ass nigga that just a cake ass nigga, cake ass nigga. <laughs> so how you feel about the word right now? You know, you got tough skin, you was raised around tough skin, but not everybody sensitive. Oh know? man, I just was telling them before y'all started this interview, I just got on my daughter cake ass this morning on my phone, that cake ass shit. Y'all sit, tell my daddy, you need to be more sensitive to other people feeling. Fuck your feelings, bitch ass nigga. I don't give a fuck about your feelings. I was, I was telling you, nah, I really don't, man. I really don't fuck your feelings, for real. Yeah, that motherfucker's too emotional today. Yeah, yeah, just soft, just 
Tiny ball, booty ass, nigga. Get your bitch ass up out of here. World too soft and sensitive, man. And you, you can't even can't even tell the truth without a motherfucker trying to label it as hating or bashing or bullying. Right. You know, you know, the world too soft, man. And don't come to my page. Look, I got motherfuckers who report my post all the time. You know, I didn't. Even, I had to water my shit down just to stop it from getting reported. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And motherfuckers be like, oh, he's harsh and critical. That ain't even 100 smack, nigga. That's to me at like 75% or something. That's crazy. Yeah, if you do anything nowadays, it's like to label you or something. Like yeah, that's the whole, that's that's the new thing today. It's been, and motherfuckers love labels and, and, and uh, titles because the, the, the harder it is to label you, the harder it is for a motherfucker to box you in and control. They always, they always looking to label something, therefore they know how to control it. They know what to give it, what they can take from it. Me, you can't box me in because the motherfucker say, Snack, yeah, I ain't no comedian. I created a word. I'm a commentary. I comment on shit. What you comment on? Any motherfucking thing? I feel like, bitch ass nigga. You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, speaking of not putting you in the box, you do music as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, talk about that. What you got coming? Oh, uh, well, uh, as far as music wise, y'all got to get an exclusive, man. First motherfuckers, you know, to know this shit off air. But Jeezy yeah. new album drop on the 23rd. I'm on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm finna get ready for I got my album, Tragedy and Triumph. It's been out a little while. Motherfuckers been fucking with that. They fuck with it real tough up there in Baltimore and Philly and shit. I get a lot of love from up there. And uh, you know, I got shit all online, videos. Orbit just shot my video uh, go live a couple weeks ago. And uh, we got a TV show coming. I mean, I, I'm involved in so much shit, but musically, I'm finna get ready and get back in the studio with my nigga Lace Mode. He executive producing my whole. If you don't know who Lace Mode is, then you really ain't in the industry how you think you're in the industry, especially down here, my nigga. This nigga here, he the one who mixing and mastering the majority of shit coming out of 300. You know what I'm saying? So that's my nigga. But uh, I'm finna get back in the studio and put this album on. Plus, me, Flawless Martel, we, we, we put our heads together, man, on, on some shit. Young Martel, what's up, nigga? We putting our heads together on some real, real special shit, like an album. Like, that probably ain't, probably the last album you're gonna be able to really compare it to is like uh, Kendrick Lamar, Good Kid, Bad City, from what, what we're trying to put our heads together and come, come up with. That's what's up, that's gonna be some intricate shit. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be something magical. Man. So, do you think people are gonna like look at your music a certain way because they see you on Instagram, like the way you are on there? I can't give a fuck how they look at it until I'm small. They can think whatever they, I can't stop a motherfucker from thinking and feeling what they want right. to think and feel. Right. So however you uh, receive it is how it's meant for you to receive it. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, a, I'm just putting, like I do on Instagram, all I do is put the truth out as, as yeah. far as I see it. So however you take it, it's on you. So you, you seem like the type to like, you know, you don't give a fuck about it, nobody got to say it. So, nah, I give, a, I, I, I give a fuck about what people got to say. Uh, well, some people take in too much of what people got to say, and they, they yeah. take guess in themselves. So what advice would you give somebody that always listening to what somebody else say about what they want to do? Fuck. <laughs> do you, because at the end of the night, nigga, you go to bed with your motherfucking self. You got to make yourself happy. If you the type of motherfucker who looking for the world to make you happy, you ain't going to never be happy, my nigga. I, I don't give a fuck about that. My, my happiness is my motherfucking responsibility, man. You know what I'm saying? It's up to me to for me to be satisfied. So I'm gonna do what the fuck that makes me happy. Cause at the end of the day, if it fails or if it succeeds, it's all on me. Cause if it fails, you could say, oh man, I listen to such and such. You think such and such give a fuck? Right. <laughs> you know, so at the end of the day, man, do what makes you happy and go with your gut, man. Do, cause Try to listen to it's okay, don't get me wrong, it's okay to listen and take criticism right. and, and, and take in because some people not everybody mean you mean you harm. Some right. people is getting constructive criticism, mm -hmm. but it's still up to you to take it in and weigh it and use it at your own discretion. You know what Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So guilty, y'all, he's a little fucked up. You know. <laughs> God damn, nigga, you working with the people. <laughs> God damn, I ain't know the people was in the place. God damn, God damn. God damn. God damn. God damn. But so did y'all think I'm on parole? 
Mm-hmm. Did I use a freestyle? Is mm-hmm. there any of music on your album gonna be a freestyle? Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't. I, you I, write everything I might, down? I might eat for it, I do face time. You know, some shit I record off the top of the head, like I sit and, and think about it like Jay-Z, but I've been freestyling since I was 11 years old. I, but I don't, I don't do that shit no more because I'm a calculator, I'm a chess player. I've been playing chess since I was 10. So I, I like everything calculated and strategized. And I like to go in the studio with gameplay. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know. You ain't me drinking in it? I'm on parole, my nigga. I can't drink. Yeah, nigga, what did you do? Really you people's man. God damn, nigga, they think they brought the people up in here. <laughs> Hey man, my parole officer, man, I do not do dodge, my nigga. I, I walk a fine line, man. I got 24 more months with y'all, my nigga. I don't want no smoke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this so, nigga here, motherfucker. So, uh, uh, obviously you've been in jail, right? So what is the biggest thing you got from, from doing it in the time? That the people gonna slam dunk your cake ass if you don't get your motherfucking mind right, bitch ass nigga. That's the biggest. That's what you nigga need to learn. You out here playing, man, except what come along with it, nigga. So when they, when they slam dunk you, nigga, don't go to crying like no cake-ass nigga, bitch-ass nigga. That's what, if that's what you choose to do, my nigga, I'm, I've always been a man about mine, my nigga. I sat there in front of the judge and say, hey, bitch-ass nigga, uh, you got me. Give me my time and let me go on back to my motherfucking cell, cake-ass nigga. So if you out here playing, my nigga, you know, stand up, man. Man up when it's time to man up, man. Cause, you know, everybody ain't gonna win the shit. 99.9% of the niggas I know ain't ain't made it up out this game with some kind of tragic experience or something happened to them. You know what I'm talking about? I can't say one nigga. It's only one nigga that I can really name out of my whole time of being in these streets, which was my whole life, that I can say got in these streets and got out without nothing. Not going to jail, no niggas jacked them. No, you know, it's only one nigga that I know, and that nigga that is, is blessed like a motherfucker. It's only one nigga that I can think of. And not to say that I ain't more, but it's only one nigga that I know. But every other nigga that's been locked up, been jacked, been shot, been this, been that, you know, but that's what come along with these streets. So, you know, don't jump up in them thinking shit sweet. You listening to these bitch ass rap niggas, cake ass niggas out. A lot of them niggas just get money, nigga. Them niggas ain't doing that no ass shit no more. They might got niggas around them who's doing it, but you know, them niggas the bad. You gonna protect the bad, okay, guys? So, like, just from this small amount of time that we've been sitting here talking, like, you have a lot of information to get. And, like, so you're gonna do music. Are you looking into any other ways of giving off this game that you have? Yeah, uh, we got a TV show, me and my nigga Orbit. We got a TV show getting ready to come up. We all put out the casting call. We got the casting call coming yeah, up. Your girls don't need <laughs> There's a good chance to find it. Uh, I ain't gonna push it. God damn, made me lose my time. I wish I could think about putting dick on my Oh, no! No! Guys, I'm gonna end up on Instagram. <laughs> no! Uh, yeah, I'm telling the honest to God too, nigga. I yeah, I know it. Oh, so as soon as she walked through the door, nigga, I asked her, like, damn, I put a dick on this little five month. Oh, God damn. Boy, you cake ass nigga don't even know that motherfucker got some short soul nigga. She wearing a five. I start to bite on the booty, nigga. <laughs> but I'm a cheer though. I'm a respectful ass nigga. Don't you get it fucked up? I'm a respectful nigga. I like it. I don't, you know, I'ma at least ask her, let her alert her that I'm about to bite on the booty before I do it. <laughs> that will up though. But uh, yeah, uh, me and Orbit, man, we got a TV show, man. All the comedians in the city already down. Shout out to uh, comedian Grossman, Jeff Shelley, or uh, MC Lotto, Leroy the Third. Uh, Rob Young, the comedian, man, we got a bunch of cats. This shit is gonna be real epic, man. It's gonna do something real uh, special for the city. That's what's up. So, what is it? What is it? What is that reality show? Or what? No, it's actually like uh, in Living Color meets Atla- uh, like Housewives of Atlanta, like a reality show. It's gonna be some crazy shit. I don't want to give too much of it yeah. away because if a motherfucker here, they're gonna take it and run with it. Yeah. Like, oh, that shit ain't never been done. Yeah. Right. But it's 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 some live shit about to take place, man. Real, real live, man. People gonna love it, man. I actually told Orbit, man, I actually see us all uh, winning an Emmy with this shit because it's some shit that ain't never been done. Just let me know where I need to be. 
you know, uh, everybody, you can go on my Instagram page, Smackwater79, if you local, or uh, if you want to fly in and try to be a part of it, you know. Uh, and uh, the link is in my bio to fill out the application. All you got to do is upload two pictures and uh, a, a minute clip of you, you know, showing whatever talent or skill you may possess. So, obviously you're an older cat. How, how, like, how do you feel about like blending in with like, the younger crowd or, the, or like the younger generations? When you, you say blending in, what you mean? Well, you got to deal with like with uh when you when you when they're commenting on your post, you going out, and you hanging with them per se. In the clubs when they book you, you are doing a TV show. It's like a lot of different personalities. Like, I, 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 I I love these little young niggas, man, because I was young nigga once. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I used to be a young nigga. I wasn't always old nigga. I love these young niggas. I love their energy. I love I love what they bring to the game, what they offer, it, you know, because it's all new matters if you are. Uh, feel it or like it or not, you, you got to respect it, right. you know what I'm saying, you got to respect it and I, I respect any motherfucker who trying to do something better to better themselves, better their community, better their family, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, I, I love these little young, these little young niggas love the fuck out of me because it's like, <laughs> uh, we was just down at the, sitting at the light right here on West Montgomery and, and Gulf Bank the other day, me and my nigga Caleb is ready to go up, make sure y'all go check out our book, Hip Hop Top 5, man. Uh, yeah, I wrote a book too. I just yeah, you, you you didn't put that in yeah. my question. Yeah, but uh, you writing books? <laughs> yeah, I do all that shit. Yeah. How long did that take? I wrote it while I was locked up. It took us about. We went. We we put the. Uh, you guys so, were locked up together? Yeah, yeah. And we met on lock. Okay. And we formed a bond through hip hop. The name of the book is Hip Hop Top Five. Uh, I wish I would. Where thinking. where can they get that? At? It's on Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. Or you, or you can hit me on my uh, DM and I, I'll mail you a copy. Uh, Twenty dollars a pop, five dollars to uh, plus five dollars to mail it twenty five. But uh, yeah, but these little young niggas, we were sitting at the light down here on Gulf Bank in West Montgomery. Me and Caleb, we were getting ready to turn. We was going somewhere. I can't remember what the fuck. But uh, a little nigga was was walking down the street and he looked in the car and he seen me. The nigga wasn't no more than nine or ten years old when he mouth cake ass nigga. <laughs> I'm like damn. <laughs> but then first of all, his little badass better stop <laughs> <laughs> But then I was at the uh, gas station right here on the block on the bank and this nigga hopped out. It's like like lunchtime. I'm on the way to the gym. And he like, man, can I get a picture with you? And I was like, yeah. You know, you could tell he was like from some kind of professional setting of going on a job interview or just went to the court house or something. <laughs> But the nigga say, man, he say, man, I'm a teacher at this elementary school right here. What's the name of this motherfucking elementary school back here by Gateway? Huh? By Gateway? Oh, uh, yeah, but, but he was like, oh, uh, yeah, man, he say, man, my students ain't gonna believe this shit, man. He say, they sit up in class and argue about you all the time. He taught fifth grade. That's great. I was like, but it's, it's I, 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 I compare it to like how I was a little young nigga and my parents used to listen to Millie Jackson though. Or the first time I saw Eddie Murphy on Delirious mm -hmm. and all that shit there, you know what I'm saying? I was a little young nigga, man. I'm trying to find out what's going on, so it, it ain't no different. It's a cycle. First time I heard two live crew shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you when you was on live, did you, did you what did you plan on doing when you got out? Did you plan on doing this exactly what you? Man, there's the same thing down there. Every nigga plan on doing when they get out got some kind of pipe dream or scheme to yeah, come up yeah. like a motherfucker. Yeah. The majority of niggas say they gonna do this or do that. I tell a nigga all the time, man, if you would have told me this shit while I was locked up and I was gonna be on Instagram and all this shit me and I'd be one of the most famous niggas on the planet, I would have hit you in your mouth and ended up being on lockdown, man. Yeah. Hey, get out of my motherfucking face with that dumb ass shit. Cause I wasn't, I'm not not no real technical type nigga and technological type nigga, so you know, this shit here, it's a biggest a, a shock and surprise to me as it is anybody. Mm -hmm. No. So, nigga wake up and Jeezy hit you and tell you, nigga, I'm finna put you on my album, nigga. Yeah. I'm kinda shocked with that. What did you say, baby? He basically he asked me to send send me his number. Send me send me send him my number. Right. And uh, you know, then he then they were like, yeah man, I'll put you on the album. And so I hit him, I was like, shit, you want me to talk shit on that? And he was like, shit. Bet. And I sent him the sent him the shit and his people hit me back and they was like we love it, you know, we just gotta get it cleared. And they're like, yeah, this is what's up, man. And that, it's crazy, man. It really is, man. I can't, man, shout out to Jeezy, man. That's, you know, that shit's out. 
I tell it, I've just been telling these niggas, nigga, name another nigga from Houston, nigga, that's on a Jeezy album, take that nigga. I bet you can't name one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Shit like that don't happen in the real world. Man. So with your music, do you kind of like, what, do you give a message in your music or do you just say Yeah, man, you? I'm too, I'm, I'm too. At this point, my nigga, when you get a certain age, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely. you too old okay. to open your mouth and not have nothing. To say. Facts. Yeah. You know yeah. What I'm saying? Yeah, I feel like that, not to name drop, but like Lil Wayne, like the older he get, he sounds the same. He not like giving you no, 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 no more information. Dude. And like first person like a Jay-Z. Like yeah. Jay-Z gonna give you as he as Well, he I older. think Jay-Z was kind of forced to give you that information. Oh, fo, fo, fo. After Beyonce dropped Lemonade, he was kind of forced. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, but he's the Jay-Z always been an informative nigga. Though. He always been an informative. Yeah. But the information he gave you on 444. Was totally different than any information he gave yeah, before. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like that shit was so, that shit was so mm -hmm. grown and so dangerous. Mm -hmm. Like that was some dangerous information, really. To give. Like right. Pac say, imagine Jewel being handed to an innocent child. Mm -hmm. Do you eat breakfast every day? <laughs> Is your name breakfast? Not today. <laughs> not today. Not today. It's not. <laughs> Breakfast every day, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know, nah. I, I'm my uh, my diet is all over the place, like a motherfucker. So, but you like to work out, right? Every day, Friday, Monday through Friday. So, don't you have to like balance what you take in? No, nah, man. I'm a nigga, man. I don't do no monkey shit like that. I ain't trying to win no motherfucking bodybuilding contest. I'm a nigga, man. I'm just doing it because. Shit, my grandfather, my mom, I got a fucked up lineage when it comes to all, uh, like health wise. Yeah. Grandmother's diabetes, died, pops, my grandfather, uh, heart failure, my daddy got the shit, you know, and it's a good chance that I'm gonna have the shit, so I'm just trying to do some preventative type shit. Yeah, that's good though. I just like to look good, so with a motherfucker like you look at me, like, I put that pussy on that <laughs> Hey, I wanna ask, like, so. Do you ever feel like you gotta turn it on? Like you seem like a natural guy, you gonna talk to your shit. Like do you ever feel like okay, now nah, I gotta I gotta be in a mode, or is it just always natural for you? Nah, really, motherfuckers don't even know. I really hate people. Yeah. Uh, when when that nigga, that's why when all uh, Kendrick said antisocial, antisocial extrovert, I was like, damn, that's what it's called. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like I really don't like. I hate people, my nigga, because I just hate. I just I really don't like to be fucked. You know what I'm saying? But, but then at the same time, I love people. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, totally I, I totally understand that. I totally understand It's complicated, I guess. Leave me alone, mm -hmm. but talk to me at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I be yeah. telling people to do. They don't yeah. get it. Yeah. They don't get it. So yeah. before we end. Yeah, because this has been, been something I enjoy. Yeah, you, you have a good time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good time. I like yeah, it. Y'all like like made me laugh a couple of times. <laughs> Y'all ask me some new questions, motherfucker. You ask a couple of same questions. Man. Shit, I get that. Man, do not ask me where my motherfucking name come from. No more, my nigga. I was the last one, y'all. Please. Hey, you already here. Don't ask this shit. That old ass shit Yo, from my daddy. It was his name, my nigga. That shit ain't no special type question, my nigga. Mm. So I was going to say before we get up out of here. You said a lot of things that people may not know about you or may not, you know, have been familiar with before. But tell them two things before we get up out of here, too. That you did not say already, and that nobody knows about you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's hard to do. Uh, that's hard as fuck to do, because I'm, I'm pretty much open book like a motherfucker. I, I really don't give a fuck about too much. Uh, I don't know, a motherfucker might don't know that I went to college on a full academic scholarship. Goddamn me. That's you know one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. full academic one of the highest scholarships. My major at first was engineering, but I was doing so much partying, getting yeah. fucked up, <laughs> fucking with hoes up right. at Fredview. Yeah. And you know, my first class was fucking all, all, all trigonometry, nigga. Yeah. Eight in the morning. <laughs> I, oh, man, I don't know why I done that for that shit. But oh, that's one. Oh, shout out to the hill, man. I, I bleed purple and gold, hey, guys. Uh -huh. uh, uh, and uh, another one somebody might not know, uh, oh. Uh, I only got one motherfucker child. Motherfuckers always think that I got a whole bunch of kids. One kid? Yeah. And it's a daughter that you had. Don't uh -huh. be charging up on the phone. Yeah, yeah, I just stay Why, why you charging her up? Because don't be no cake ass nigga. She need it. I don't give a goddamn who it is. I'll charge my tea lady if I 
if y'all ain't heard my fuck your feelings part one and part two, y'all know I charge my tea lady up on my own album. You know what I'm saying? I got shit talking albums too. I got a rap album and I got shit talking albums. Well, the same shit that I do on Instagram, I do on albums. Mm-hmm. Fuck your so feelings part one. Just listen to it like Yeah, they love it too. Through. They love it too. They fuck your feelings part album. one, part and part two. Like what made you do this? Like, you just like, fuck it, I'm just put on the album? My nigga Lace Mode, he was like, Smack, you need to put this shit on the album. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, damn, you know what, you might be right. He say like, because this like some Rudy Ray Moore type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers love it. They love it. Like, if you ain't heard it, man, you missing out. Cause I, I drop some real jewels on it. And I give you shit that I don't give yeah. on, on my page. Mm-hmm. You know what right. I'm saying? So you keep low key kind of, then this is not, I'm probably gonna get caught pecked ass nigga for this. But <laughs> but you keep referencing older people or like gems from back in the day, you feel me? Like, like tell the people who, who some of your people is. What you mean? Who's, who's your grandfather? Oh, my grandfather is a uh, blues ambassador. Johnny Clyde Copeland, you are uh, Grammy Award winning blues singer. My aunt is Shamika Colton, the biggest blues singer on the planet right now. Uh, yeah, my grandfather, he was the uh, only person to, to uh, perform in Russia during the Cold War from America. And, uh, he was a special dude, man. He, he, he's known worldwide. He's not that famous in America, but worldwide. He was an ambassador. The nigga actually had ambassador plates, my friend. Right. Like, for real, for real. He was the right. ambassador of the blues. That's crazy. Yeah, he was, he was the ambassador of the blues. And all, uh, you know, he won a Grammy back in 84. He, he was a real special dude. First dude to successfully successfully have a heart heart transplant. Mm-hmm. Just because I told you, he died from heart complications. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And they, he, they gave him a heart transplant. And that's actually damn near how Dr. Oz got his fame. Dr. Uh-huh. Oz is the one who did it. So, yeah. God damn me! That is crazy. Yeah. That, well, that's, that's gonna be yeah, three. That's three. <laughs> that's three. Oh, well, yeah. three. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Wow. Hey, this shit going down to history. Okay. Show, man. Wham, bam, boom, wake up morning show. That's what it is. So before we get out of here, can you tell them whatever you want to want them to know? Promo, if you put your Instagram, your album, all that. Casting call, yeah, the casting call. Get on that. Yeah, all, all you gotta do, go to my uh, Instagram page, Smackwater790. Click the link up in it. You can fill out the application. Yeah, it's gonna be easy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be easy. 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 Yeah, but, uh, you know, just fuck with me and don't be a K-Gang nigga, K-Gang nigga. Uh, that's what it is, man. We out here. It's 50 Dre. What up, though? It's your girl, No Bra Breezy. We out. I want to yeah. be the ambassador of the No Bra Club. <laughs> you on the way you like a motherfucker. She definitely yeah. on the way. <laughs> Got my vote, K-Gang nigga. <laughs> <laughs> it's lit. Already K-Gang nigga. Realest nigga on the ground. And make sure you tune in to the Wake Up Morning Show on the Core 94. Fucking bitch.